What is up everybody out there in YouTube land? In this video we are going to be making perfect poached eggs. I'm going to show you how to make perfect poached eggs every single time. The very first thing is this. You need to have a large pot. Okay, Something like this is going to be just fine. The second thing that we want to do is we want to put a, a cap full of vinegar inside this. That's enough. And then now what we're going to do is we're going to put this on medium high heat and we want this to come to a boil. Let's make four just to show you that it's not a fluke if I get the first one right. Okay. First thing, you always want to make sure that the eggs that you end up using are fairly fresh. The older the egg is, the less likely it's going to turn out well. How can you tell if your eggs are fresh? If you take them and you put them in a container of water, if they float, it's bad. If they go straight to the bottom and they lay on their side, that's good. If you put them in there and they kind of float up like this, then that means that they're a little old. We need our secret tool. And that's that right there. Waste not, want not. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this inside here and we are going to open up one of our eggs and we are going to run it through the strainer. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of move this around and we are going to let the watery part of the white leave this, uh, this egg. Okay. And you're going to see that this egg had a decent amount that looks it's really just like water but that's what's creating the wispy things in your poached egg and, and kind of clouding up the water and making everything look funny so now that is a boil it's actually a rolling boil but we're going to turn this down a little bit because i don't need it that hot and then what we're going to do is we're going to come over like this and we're just going to drop the egg in one way for us to know that it's cooked is it's going to start kind of bouncing and rolling around inside there do you see how it's kind of wanting to jump around a little bit the reason why I don't put the strainer inside the water is because the white that's on the strainer will end up um, uh, solidifying. And what you hear in the back is my lovely dishwasher because I'm always washing dishes. So this first one right here is more than likely finished. And what we can do is we can take it up like this, okay, pour the water out because you don't want to boil your fingers, and then push on the white, okay, to see if the white is cooked all the way through. This right here, is cooked. So now I'm going to put this on a paper towel just for a couple of seconds to take the extra water off. And poaching eggs is so fast. It's such a quick way to cook an egg. This one looks finished. People will generally put these in an ice bath as soon as they come out. So that way it'll stop cooking because of the residual uh, heat there. Another goes in. Another goes in. needs a minute or two. As soon as these are done, we're going to plate them up. And then what I'll do uh, with the paper towel, I'll just take this and I'll just kind of throw them down like that. And they're done. Give them a little shake so that way they're evened out there. Most people will have these with just a little bit of salt. Okay, a little bit of pepper. But you can put this on toast, you can put this on ham. Um, th this is just awesome all the way around. One of the things that I do is I will actually end up making a dressing for deviled, uh, deviled eggs and then I'll pour that up on top. But just to show you how perfect these are, let's, let's kind of slide them out of the way a little bit here. We'll go to this guy first, okay? And this is the one that we cooked first. Do you see how perfect that is? That is awesome. I believe this was the second one that we cooked. Same thing, perfect every single time. There's the third one. Like I said, it wasn't a fluke. It's perfect every single time. And the last one. Perfect every single time, guys. Now that yolk, to me, that's, that's liquid gold. I'm not gonna waste that. That's when you use your toast to sop it up. But there you go, guys. As promised, perfect poached eggs every single time. And when people see how perfect they are, they're gonna say, oh my God, how do you do that? What's the trick? And that's when you say, I subscribe to Cooking with Dr. Chill, and that's why I know how to do this. Anyway, guys, until next time, take care of yourself and hold a good thought for me, would you?